Paris. Nazi country. That's where Papa is, so that's where we're going. Well, it looks like Jess and Soph Blaskowitz, the twin daughters of Wolfenstein's unfortunately named hero BJ, were a chip off the old block. Just like their dear old dad, they like nothing more than messing up as many Nazis as possible in order to completely ruin their day. And by ruin their day, I basically mean stab, shoot and explode them. But there's more to it than just physical violence, as I discovered in this brand new Wolfenstein Youngblood gameplay. So here are seven times the Blaskowitz twins ruined the Nazis' day. Which, to be fair, does also include a lot of physical violence. Alright, so picture the scene. You're a successful Nazi and all your hard work Naziing around the world has brought in quite a bit of cash. And obviously, being a Billy Big Balls Nazi, you're a bit ostentatious, so you want to flash your what about a bit. Boats and yachts are so World War I though, so you've decided to go one better and build yourself a swanky new Zeppelin. Not just a normal Zeppelin mind, this is a proper posh one with all the mod cons like live shows, casinos and karaoke sauna booths, whatever the fudge they are. Basically, it's like a cruise ship for the skies. Now, of course, once the construction is all done, you're going to want to show off your big old floating penis extension to all of your Nazi mates. And what better way to do that than by hosting a big old far-right banquet? So there you are. Your tables are made up lovely with extravagantly folded napkins atop posh crockery. You've got the expensive silverware out and your bestest Nazi banners are hanging from the walls. With all this in place, you're nice and content to just stare out of the window, anticipating all the attention you're going to get when suddenly, stabby, stabby, stab, day ruined. And it's not just you that can't enjoy this meal now. In the ensuing firefight, so much blood is spilled that there's no way none of it went on that lovely buffet there. Looks like there's going to be a load of hungry Nazis tonight. Top work, ladies. Just enjoy life for a second, Jess. But look, Jess and Soph ain't gonna stop there, not when there's Nazis to be killed. So what do they do when shooting holes in all the cutlery isn't enough? Well, they blow that Zeppelin sucker up and scatter its wreckage all over Paris, that's what. Jour ruiné for any Nazi that thought they were going to go on a lovely Zeppelin ride anytime soon, that's for sure. But wait, the twins aren't done with the ruining just yet because there's a bunch of disappointed Nazis hanging around the wreckage that need a good old shooting. So you've probably worked out by now that the Blaskowitz twins really get a kick out of ruining Nazis' days. In fact, they just love to swastika the knife in at any opportunity, as you'll see in a second when I kick off a montage of awesome assassination kills. Thankfully, all this footage came without any kind of musical backing track under the action, so that means I can even add my own. 
Enjoy. There's nothing more aggravating to someone who's just had their day ruined than when someone else is skipping around being ultra chirpy and cheerful and stuff. I guess that's why the Nazis ultra hate the hardcore sisterly bonding that the twins indulge in as they wreak havoc on the Reich. For a start, the twins love to share, as you can see here when they open a shared life crate together. Life sharing is life caring after all. But it's not just kindness via the act of sharing that winds Nazis up. By shouting words of encouragement to each other and flashing a cheeky hand gesture or two, the twins are able to give each other a plus 50 health boost, or a pep as the game calls it. You can do this, Jess! And oh my word, does that put a dampener on a Nazi's otherwise normal day. This banter between the sisters is a great way to create a bond between any actual human players who are co-oping their way through the campaign together. Just watched your mate ruin a Nazi's day in a really cool way? Give him some pep as a reward and really rub it in the fascists' faces. I'm gonna teach that Nazi commander. <laughs> Just a quick one this, but what better way to ruin a Nazi's day than to punch them so hard that they literally explode. Let's see that again in slow motion. Yup, day ruined all right. Nice work, Jess. Taking out this one. One surefire way the twins have found to wind up the Reich is to use their own weapons against them. This could be just a simple case of introducing an unsuspecting commandant to the business end of his own pistol. Gonna take out this nasty asshole. Or something more environmentally friendly, like the recycling of this diesel super soldat's flamethrower uh, thingy. Keep up the good work, so. Look, I don't know what it's called, but it does a great job of ruining a Nazi's day. So, what does it matter in the long run? So, you may have noticed by now that the twins are wearing some pretty swanky suits of armour. These armoured suits come with customizable loadouts and special powers, like the ability to turn invisible, which is the perfect skill to have if you want to pull off some stealthy day ruining. Here they come, Jess. Not ones to be left in the shadows when it comes to tech, though, the Nazi scientists have developed their own super armour, which you can see here being modelled by someone called General Winkler. Looking good, Herr Winkler. Would be a real shame if someone ruined your day by completely messing up your brand new expensive robo onesie, eh? Hey. That's about as many instances of Nazi day ruining as I could count in this video, although I'd be very surprised if there weren't literally hundreds more opportunities in the full game. The co-op mechanics in Youngblood look pretty awesome to me, but while I am looking forward to blasting the smiles off the shiny faces of mecha Nazis with a mate once the game releases, this gameplay does make the shooting of bullet sponge copy and paste Nazi douchebags look a little tiresome at times. 
Hopefully the vibrant personalities of the Blazkowicz twins will help elevate this game's story, just like the awesome writing in The New Order and The New Colossus did for BJ's adventures. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed all this Nazi bashing fun, do give it a like. Do subscribe to Eurogamer for more Youngblood coverage whenever we can bring it to you. And now, please do enjoy some commentary free day ruining, courtesy of the Blaskowitz twins. Goodbye. We gotta get a code. We should check that guard booth. Hold on. Awesome. Keep up the good work, Soph.